In this video is mostly just going to show basic usage of nav editing commands. Later videos are going to focus more on how you should make a playable and optimized nav mesh. And this tutorial is going to apply to most Source Engine games that are using Nextbot. On Valve maps, navigation meshes are already there, but if you join a custom map without one, it should generate automatically. If it's not generating by itself, you can manually go into the console and type nav generate and then hit enter. After this is done, bots should be able to play your map. To edit navmesh, go into the console and type navedit1. You should now be able to see and edit navigation meshes. The white cross in the center is your cursor. The tail you point get is shown with a yellow outline and all areas that are connected to it are shown in red. White line near your cursor shows grid. Now, before you do anything, remember to kick all of the bots or use bot zombie 1 and make sure that bots never stand on the tile you're currently editing, or else CSGO will crash very often. There's a lot of commands for nav mesh editing, and you will probably want to bin them to some buttons. There's already a navigation mesh editing CFG available here, but since some people might want to create their own configs, I will show the command I'm using instead of a button from nav mesh editing CFG. Currently, there is no undo function in navmesh editing system, so remember to save frequently by typing nav save. This will automatically save nav file to the maps folder with the name of your map. For an example, if you're editing a map called Disparity, it will be saved in the maps folder under the name disparity.nav. Nav load loads the nav file that has the same name as our map. navmark command marks an area you're currently aiming at. To unmark an area, you can execute navmark or navunmark. nav add to selected set and nav remove from selected set are adding and removing areas in selected set. Then you're probably asking yourself, why two methods of selecting areas exist? Navmag can be only used at one area at a time, and it's used in most of the commands that are changing size and shape of that area. While selected set is able to hold infinite amounts of tiles, but it doesn't support all of the editing commands. It's most useful in adding an attribute to multiple areas. To split an area, aim your cursor at that area and execute nav split. If corners of the area are now clipping into the ground or floating above it while you don't want them to, you can execute nav corner place on ground. But it shouldn't really matter as long as the distance between the nav panel and ground isn't very big. To merge two adjacent areas, aim your cursor at the first area and execute nav mark. And then aim at the second area and execute nav merge. Remember that both areas must be same size along the edge to be merged. Splicing creates a new area between two existing areas. To splice a new area, just execute nav mark on the first one, aim at the second one and execute nav splice. To delete an area, simply aim at it with your cursor and execute nav delete. If there are any areas in your selected set, then they will be deleted instead of the one you're aiming at. To make a one-way connection, mark or add the selected set your first area and then aim at the second one and execute nav connect. To make a bidirectional connection, add the two areas to selected set and execute nav connect. To remove a connection, add both areas to selected set and execute nav disconnect. To manually create an area, place your cursor at the first corner of the new area and execute nav begin area. Now move your cursor to the opposite corner of the new area and execute nav end area. If you want it to snap to grid, just type nav snap to grid 1. To build a ladder, you can just aim at it and type nav build ladder. A green ladder should appear. If it's red, aim at it and execute nav ladder flip. It should automatically connect to the rest of the level, however, if you want to change areas it's connected to, you will need to use nav mark, as selected set doesn't work with ladders. But besides that, connecting and disconnecting works the same way as with the normal areas, except that ladders can only be connected to different areas at the top or bottom. 
Alternatively, you can move your cursor on the ladder and when it changes color to green, proceed to create it manually, just like any other area. After you're done with editing, you'll need to analyze the nav mesh with nav analyze command. Also, make sure you've changed the nav quick save to zero before final release, as it's making the process of analyzing a lot shorter at the cost of quality of your nav mesh. If you have any trouble, visit the article on navigation editing I will leave in the description or ask on Perfect Navmesh Steam Group. Have fun!